Hello, this is Jose Trujillo. I'm a fine art artist. I'm coming to you from a corner of my art studio. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, today, I want to talk to artists and I want to touch a little deeper into the idea of perfection. I know I've done some videos about that. If you haven't seen them, go check them out after this one. The whole... Uh, uh, just, just, just type in in, in, in the Google search, and uh, I mean the YouTube search uh, browser, Jose Trujillo uh, perfection. The word perfection. I think, I think some videos are gonna pop up. <laughs> I don't think I know, <laughs> or maybe I don't know. I have videos about perfection, about being a perfectionist. This one's slightly different because I believe that the the idea of of perfectionism is so sneaky. It's so broad, it's so sneaky that it's worth talking about it in different angles because you might be missing something. You might get something down, but you might be missing something else, you know, on the side. Uh, perfection, perfection is paralysis, okay? And I've talked about how perfectionism may be your stopper, right? Most of us don't think like that. Most of us are like, I got to do this thing right. I have to do it right. You know, I'm, I'm a perfectionist. And I've talked before, you are not a perfectionist. You have a, a production problem, you know. You, you are using the, 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 the concept of perfectionism, you're using that in order to procrastinate your production, you know, your, your, your however it is that you produce, you know. You, maybe you're a photographer and you're like, oh man, there's, uh, uh, I don't know, blah, 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 and so on. It's not working for me. Okay, so let me use that example <laughs> because this is what I, exactly what I'm talking about. Um, perfectionism, very, uh, for the most part, it looks, you can, be, you can spot it in, in, in tangible things if someone is a perfectionist. But in other places, you know, of your life, uh, in intangible <laughs> things, you may be missing it. And this is exactly what happened to me. Now again, I do these videos because these are things that are happening to me or have happened to me and I'm learning from them or I've learned from them and I'm, I'm just sharing them with you. Maybe you're in the same spot, you know? This, is, this, is, this has been happening to me for years and I didn't even know, it's like, I didn't even know it was happening. I knew there was something off. But, you know, my wife has kept pointing it out to me, like, this is a stopper for you, and you can't see it, you know? And, I mean, I'm, I'm blessed to have a wife who's, like, on, the, uh, on my team, you know, who's on the, we're, 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 uh, we're on the same page, you know? She looks at me, and she says, you know, this is, you need to fix this, and we don't, we don't, it's, it's, it's a tight bond. <laughs> it's a tight bond because we're, 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 we're monitoring each other so professionally, so nicely. And this is one of the things that she, uh, she, she's pointed out to me over and over and over. And I just could not see it. I believe that it's awareness. You know, and I've made other videos about that. If you don't have the awareness, you know something's off, but you can't see what. Even if someone's like, no, no, this. Look, you can't even, you know, I, I remember my brother telling me, it's like someone who drinks, you know, who's a... Uh, 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 drinker, no, they, uh, they, it doesn't even, they don't, they don't feel that something is off in their life and everything might be off, you know, they, 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 they think they're just kind of going through, you know, life and, and they're figuring, some parts are functional and other parts are completely unfunctional, you know, and, and the other parts that are functional, the, the awareness can't see them. You know, can't grasp them and be like, this is happening right here. Let me hold on to this. My kids, my job, my wife, you know, and on and on. Anyways, I don't want to gear off. Uh, but, uh, <clears throat> so this was happening to me, right? I was acting very unaware. And until recently, I'm like, what? It, this just happened days ago, you know, that it started to be like, what? Something, something's off here. Something, I'm not grasping something. I'm not, I'm not being able to, 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 to really, you know, grab it and be, be like, this is, this is happening in my life. And I need to, I need to uh, confront it and take care of it. So, uh, let's say you're a photographer, right? And you tell yourself, I'm not a perfectionist. I'm not a perfectionist at all. You know, I'm, 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 I've learned how to take care of that idea of perfectionism. I just point and shoot, you know. I learned how to do it. 
So you focus on the product, on the outcome, the product, the tangible, right? The, the, your, your, your photograph. In my case, the paintings, right? Oh, I'm, I'm going to paint and, you know, blah, 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 blah. I'm not a perfectionist. I'm doing, you know, and, and your practice and your skills and your trust make you a better artist, right? So, so you get the tangible aspect. Something that might be seeping in through there that you may not be seeing is the intangible, which is the perfect situation. This happened to me for years, guys, for years. And I had no idea what was going on. And it happens so subtle. You know, it happens so just enough to be there and not be noticed. <laughs> oh, it's spooky! <laughs> just enough to be there and not be noticed. So while I'm concentrating on, I'm going to build a website and I don't care. It's not, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to do this and I don't care. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just, I, you know, I'm an action taker. This is a, the, I have quotes around my studio and, you know, and different quotes that, that help me re remind myself, you know, don't be, don't, don't focus on perfectionism. But the whole time I've been, I've been focusing on thinking the product, the, the outcome. For example, this, right? This is a, t it's a tangible thing, the video. I don't have to have a perfect uh, studio in order to record a, 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 a blog, right? This is tangible because you are able to, you know, you're able to see it, you're able to feel it or, or hear it, you know, it's somewhat tangible. The intangible is, is where most perfectionism has occurred in my life that I wasn't even aware of. For example, I may be doing this painting, this, the, you know, the creating this uh, body of work or whatever and telling myself, um, I'm not going to create this or I'm not going to do that. You know, very subtle until the until the right moment. Oh, you know, I'm not going to do this until the the right person, the right, you know, the right situation. And it's it's I know that it, it, it might seem like but be, bear with me. It has to do not with things that are physical because things that are physical you know, and I consider like a video something physical, right? Are are able you're able to 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 be aware of it, you're able to grasp it, but but somewhere subtle down there, you know, where I can't see it, lurking in dark waters, <laughs> is a type of perfectionism that has that has uh, messed with me my whole life that I didn't know about and I barely came aware of. And I'm sharing this with you so that hey. Wake up. If this is happening to you, check it out. You may be working towards something and you're like, yeah, 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 yeah. But if the whole picture doesn't look the way you want it to, you may be holding yourself back. And I'm talking about the intangible picture. For example, uh, you may be waiting for the right studio. The right art. You may be creating artwork or whatever, but you're like, oh, the studio's not big enough, so I can't create large paintings. And I'm going to, you know, you hold back. Or you're like, uh, I, I couldn't do that on Etsy, you know, and you hold back. Because the situation, the intangible situation, intangible, is not perfect. See where I'm going? It, it's very subtle, but, but it's those little things. You made an agreement with yourself. Somehow, or or let's say that you are a physical trainer or something, or you you, you know, and, and you're like, I don't have the right place, you know, or or you're not a perfectionist when it comes to get getting going, you know, your 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 card is like, oh, whatever, this is good enough, you know, your your the way that you move yourself, no, this is good enough, it's very tangible, you're able to see it, but those things that you're not able to see. You may be hoping for them to have a certain perfection, and and if and if it's not there, then you hold yourself back. I know, I know this is abstract. I understand, but I'm talking to those who may be stopped by this, as I was, and and I say I was because I'm aware of it. And when you're aware of it, then you start you start coming into consciousness, and you start going, oh, okay, I'm going to change this. I'm going to start taking action because now you're aware of it. Now you're no longer you can't you, you you can't use the excuse that oh I couldn't even see it. I don't know. Now you're aware of it, and this has happened to me. So I'm sharing this with you. I hope that this helps you guys. I hope that uh, it's 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 one of those things that you can't you know that's that's why it seeps in because you can't grab it. 
You can't grab it by the hair and go like, here you are, <laughs> you perfectionist thing, you. <laughs> it hides. It's very subtle. It's not tangible. It's, it could be, it could very well be uh, um, the way you picture things to be, you know. You could be a perfectionist in that. For example, you could be creating different, uh, uh, you're, maybe you're a recording artist, right? And, or, or you're a, a musician. And, and you need, you're not, you don't care about the perfectionism in the in the in the in the product in the tangible like oh yeah the, the recording studio that's fine right there that we'll use that recording studio or this guitar you know or this music this is perfect let's go but if if a friend is not there or or a certain band member or a certain you know the perfect situation is not there then you pull back if the perfect situation if, if, for example, you create a, uh, you're a very disciplined person, you create a regime of, of the things that you need to do, but somehow something is not, doesn't make the perfect situation or the perfect schedule, then you pull back. And, and it's an intangible, you know? It's not, it's, not, it's not something you say, well, I did, uh, I don't know, 20 calls today because I sell, I don't know, you sell something from phone or whatever. I made 20 calls today or 30 calls or whatever. And then I had to send 10 emails and I did this. You know, you have your nice uh, to-do list. But if something doesn't fall correct, then you pull back. Because the situation, you know, the whole, the, 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 the outcome, the view of it, it's not perfect. And that could be very well holding you back. Because it's, it's just one of those things, you know, that I believe it's not very much talked about. Most people talk about the tangibles. Most people talk about... about uh, the 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 song, the painting, the photograph, the you know those tangible things, and most people suffer in those. Most people are like, "Oh, it's not good enough. It's not perfect." And most you know, but we don't talk about the perfect situation. The perfect situation is a nasty, nasty, nasty perfectionist idea, and it could come in from different places. Oh, the the perfect, you know. The, the perfect family, the perfect place, the perfect... doesn't mean you shouldn't work towards it, but what I'm talking about is that if, if, if you conceive it as not being perfect, you may be pulling back or maybe erasing everything and starting over, and you find yourself in this hamster wheel where you constantly, constantly have to start over because you start something, you stick to it, but the situation doesn't look perfect, and then you, you know, it's a form of procrastination, really, because you're waiting for everything to be perfect. You know, for, for, for the, the situation to look perfect and then you'll go all in. If the situation's not perfect, then you won't. It's like trying to drive somewhere is the one, one great way of putting it, I believe. A, a great explanation. You're, trying, you're driving at night and you're like, I'm going to go to California. And you want, let's say you're in Arizona, right? Like being, and you want to go to California. And, or wherever you are, think of your state nearby. <laughs> and you're driving at night and you're like, if this lights, let's say you don't have a map. Don't show me exactly. Don't don't show me exactly California. Then then this. Let's say you've never been before, right? This hundred and fifty feet or whatever the lights are throwing. You know the 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 the, the, the lights of your car. Um, it's not good enough because if everything is dark around me, you're driving at night and you're only seeing whatever you're able to see ahead of you. And, 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 and that might not be good enough for many of us. That might be like, but where's California? You know? <laughs> I know it's a little abstract, but, but it happened to me. So I'm, I'm telling you guys, be careful with that. Pay attention to it. Look, you're driving. There's a metaphor, right? You're driving at night and the light only shines there. It's good enough. It's okay. The situation does not. It's raining. You know, your car's making a noise, whatever, take it to the shop. I don't know. I'm talking about metaphors here. It's good enough. It's okay. The, as long as you keep going, as long as you don't stop, the situation is perfect as is. This is the problem. We want the situation to look perfect. We want the body of work. We want the right exhibit. We want, and if we don't have it, we tend to pull back. Right? I see it with other people now that I saw it with me. We pull back 
and we wait for the right, or maybe the right schedule, or maybe the right, you know, if this, I'm willing to put on all the work in, but if the schedule is not right, uh, I'll wait until I have the right schedule, because what if I do the wrong schedule, and I'll spend three months doing the wrong thing, you know, this is the shit I'm talking about, this is the kind of stuff, you know, <laughs> it happened, it happened to me, <laughs> if it happens to me, it could happen to anyone, <laughs> Anyways, I'll leave you with that. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm a fine art artist. I'm on my journey to become the world's greatest artist, living artist. And I'm already calling myself that in case you haven't noticed. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Till next time.